Hello. I was going to record something different and then this happened. I thought in this video I will show you how to set up that PID controller for your mesh solver bot or line follower bot rather. But then I realized that my bot is not working because the whole pipe pole path is short circuited. I don't know how it happened though I have to fix it now and I don't have time to record that video again and maybe for that reason it was smoking in the previous video see this is the condition of my bot as soon as I turn it on everything seems okay but as soon as I adjust this potentiometer to tune tune my IR sensors see what happens see it's totally short circuiting you can see the buck converter LED see it's also making that kind of sound I can see battery voltage dropping because it cannot supply that much amperes. First I thought it was not that much serious. But as soon as I test it with my continuity test in the multimeter, it beeps. That means the two contacts are short circuited. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your wheels for your mesh solver board. As I've shown in my first video, that you need some wheels some actually some wheels with some good traction because this is advanced line follower bot so it have to have that kind of traction in its tires because it will be fast and it will skid away so let's get started roll the intro As you might know, I have shown you in my first video, I have started with that kind of wheels and later I modified them like this. Just a little bit piece of fabric in there to increase the traction. But it failed terribly because the fabrics are kind of good but if when I stretch it, it doesn't have that much traction anymore. So it kind of failed and that's why I have to design thicker wheels. See. I came up with this kind of wheels as you can see the in inner side has two ply boards and you can see I have cut them in a round shape and these are actually the tapes by tapes I mean those duct tapes and also cello tapes will work but you need thicker cello tapes like this and when as you can see it's finished you can use these as your wheels I mean cover of your wheels and obviously you need a round object for your for this hollow part this is the actual ply board from which I cut those circles as you can see this is quite thin let me measure it for you wow it's 2 mm it's actually 2 mm ply board or in other words 0.2 centimeters as you can see it's it's actually 2 mm and if you ask how I cut those circles basically I must mark a circle according to my dimensions and then what the camera is actually became intelligent or what as you can see it's adjusting it's tracking my face this camera is awesome it's tracking my face <laughs> first I marked a circle in here and then I drilled a bunch of holes to according to the circle and then cut out cut out the basic shape but as you may know bunch of holes that means bunch of rough surfaces and I have smoothed it using my drill bit I spinned that rough wheel in a sandpaper and like that I smoothen it out it's like a lathe machine but it's a tedious job for one circle I have to work I think around half an hour so I need four circles because for each wheel I have two circles in the middle and then I have that cover from an old steel grip tape and for two wheels I need four wheels that means two hours of that sanding and cutting that is a pretty much tedious job that's why I have designed this 3D object and if you want to print it out you can do so because I have put it in the description down below thank me later give this video a thumbs up if you like it
So that's kind of a complex job. But I have to do it because I don't have a 3D printer. But I designed one wheel which will maybe kind of good in my CAD software. So I'm going to show you that today because I have no content. Because I have to fix this sh You will see every steps of designing the wheel in my CAD. And if you have a 3D printer you can print it out. And also if you have any suggestions because I am not a professional 3D designer. So <coughs> if you think my design have flaws and also it's not that strong. You can comment in the description down below. I mean comment section down below. Not the description. You cannot write in the description. So you can comment down below how I can improve it. And also if you want you can provide your own design. And send it me to my Facebook official page. You can find my Facebook official page down below. Also you can send me on Patreon. You can find all those links in the description down below. And also the STL files you can find in the description down below. So that you can see how the design works by yourself. Let's get started.
as you can see the wheel actually kind of looks cool isn't it so give it a thumbs up if you like this video thumbs down for the opposite and do not forget to share and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified about my latest upload this month you're watching our syllabus and for today i'm signing off